Good day, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Adimola Adeniji. Today, I'll be sharing with you a very useful information at um, University Paris Saclay. University Paris Saclay is one of the leading institution in France and also in the world. University of Paris Saclay boasts of records such as uh, mathematics, like it's one of the top universities in the world in mathematics. It is being ranked first in Europe in physics, first in France in agricultural science, te uh, telecommunication engineering, clinical medicine, automation and control statistics, and down to instrument um, science and technology, according to the Shanghai Global Ranking of Academic Subjects. University of Paris Saclay, basically, this is actually an institution that consists of four, 14 faculties as well as research laboratories. Also, it consists of 65, over 65,000 students, as well as 9,000 master students. Also, like 4,600 PhD students, 275 laboratories, and as well as 9,000 plus researchers and research professors. To move for that, these are like the list of faculties present in Paris Saclay. Here we have the faculty Jean Monnet, faculty, faculty de medicine, like that's the faculty of medicine, faculty of pharmacy, faculty of science, as, as well as science sports. So all these are the um, inst um, faculty institutions that you can see, as well as the research laboratories that you can see at Paris Saclay. To move further, so the basis of this video is to share with you the ongoing, ongoing doctoral um, proposals that we have at uh, Paris Saclay. Yeah, what are we going to do? So just go to Google, search PhD program, University Paris Saclay. So yeah, you are going to see these uh, Google results. So just click on the first link. So when you click on the first link, it is going to take you to this to this part. So how do you proceed from here? So when you get to this um and get to this platform, the first thing here you we have the before, like before applying for the PhD during your PhD program, and basically after the PhD program. So I think in our case, the before is what we are actually interested in. So the first section here explains the type of PhD positions they are, probably you want to be a full-time enrolled student or you want to be a part-time enrolled student or probably you want to have your PhD to be something within uh, probably between a company and the school. So that this part actually explains that. So how to apply explains how you are going to actually apply to any of the proposed thesis subjects here actually consists of the proposals, the numerous thesis proposal that they're actually uh, proposing for prospective applicants, as well as the funding information. So also international PhD student prepare your arrival. So when you arrive and also the agreement sort, sort of. So I think what we actually, the basis of this video is to explain to you the proposals that we have and now you are actually going to apply. So when you click on this, you are going to see the list of proposals that we have here. So here we have the PhD project proposal for the year 2022, um, 2023. Yeah, I think, yeah, you can search based because there are a lot of proposals you can see, there are a lot of them. So you can, you have the opportunity to search your research interest, maybe the particular keyword that you are interested in, you can basically search that, or you can search by your domain. Let's say for instance, if I'm interested in biotechnology, I can just search, okay, let's do that, search. So now all these will be like, the research results will be basically based, um, this is based on um, biotechnology. So you can see, okay, fine. Let's say probably um, in chemistry field, probably let's go back. Let's go back, maybe go back. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I can try to like go to maybe chemistry. I think chemistry is down. Chemistry, chemistry, chemistry. Yeah, this is like chemistry. If you're interested in chemistry, 
we can search and check the PhD proposals they have in different fields. This one is um, laboratory structures, properties, and modelization of solids. So this is another research institute. This is a doctoral school of chemical science, molecules, materials, instrumentation, biosystem. So these are the thesis proposal. So and one interesting thing about all these thesis proposals is that you can apply to a lot of proposals. So you are not limited to maybe like three applications or four applications or five. No, you can apply to as much as possible proposals. And also, you don't really have to have, let's say like maybe it is compulsory to have a master degree. I think um, though some of the proposal actually can state as a requirement that you have to have master's degree. But I think most of these proposals is actually tailored to your experience. So once you have the experience, they, are, they require from prospective um, applicants, you will, you will certainly be considered for this particular position. And also you have the opportunity to apply to as much as possible research proposal. Take for instance, let's say I'm interested in this, you can click on this. Okay, maybe I find this, um, like this title interesting. So we can see the deadline. The deadline for this application is May 30th, 2022. So you can just, okay, find, I think this is making sense. So the PhD begins October 1st, of course, this year. So now what you can do for, at first you can show your interest. Maybe I think the best thing to do initially is to check, read about the project. So once you read about the project, okay, fine. I think this is actually matches to my skill. So I think you can see this is a particular program that, that is stating that the candidate will come from a master's degree in physics or chemistry or engineering. In all cases, a good knowledge of basics of quantum physics is necessary. So I think here yeah, they are saying that, okay, the candidate will come from a master's. So I think here yeah, this type of application requires you to have a master's degree. And also if you are currently in a master's program, probably you are doing your, you are currently doing your thesis, of course you can show interest in this application. So I think, okay, let's, let's deal uh, about the, uh, on this first. I think a good way to start from here is to like, okay, maybe you want to express your interest to the PhD supervisor, you can send an email. There is an email, once you, you can click this, for instance, let me click this. All right. So once I click this, so it means I can send an email, okay, expressing your interest in this. But the best way to go, I, so after like maybe you express your interest to the your potential supervisor, the best thing is to click out to apply. So you apply. This out to apply take you to the, um, take you to, because, okay, fine. How to apply is you can scroll down. You can scroll down the page. You are going to see the candidate area. So this candidate area, this is where you create your, um, your personal information and stuff like that. And also when you log into this, it gives you the opportunity to apply to as much um, thesis proposals as possible because when you create your uh, personal information, you will still have access to all the, um, PhD proposal. So then you can click to as many as possible. So this um, profile, this like this profile candidating page actually takes all your personal information. And after you can like select a lot of thesis um, proposal that you're interested in, and you can get as many as them, uh, as, as much as you can, like you can apply to as much as you can. And at the end of the day, probably you are selected to like three, of course, you cannot do like three doctoral thesis or two, so you can drop two and pick the one of your choice. So I think that is that about that. And also I think, let me try to go back. So as well, there are a lot of, because probably you are having just bachelor degree, there are still some, okay, let me try to like click this first one, probably it will not state that you must have a master's degree. Profile, I think here yeah, is also a requesting for a master's degree. Let's say, let's check for another, um, let's see this, maybe it is going to request for, so you can see this one doesn't specifically state that you must have a master thesis, a master degree. So here is just telling you that once you have the knowledge in quantum physics, optics, experimental and numerical skills in all these, like something closer to this area, 
of course, you'll be considered for this uh, PhD proposal. And as well, um, let me see. And as well, one important thing to say is that like you cannot do a PhD in France without getting a funding. And what I see there is that all virtually all these thesis proposals they come with funding. So once you are able to be selected, you'll be funded throughout your your PhD um, stay in that particular laboratory. And as well, let's see, let's see. Probably I click this. Click this. What do we have? So you can see here as well. This is not specifically stating that you must have um, a master's degree. So even though you come from, if you just have like a bachelor's degree, you can as well do, um, you can as well candidate. So once you click the candidate area, another way to go about it is to create the profile. And also you can assess all those thesis proposals in your profile. So, and as well, one important thing, because most of people usually complain about okay, do I have to have like knowledge of French language or I'm just like an English speaker or sort of. So I, I don't think you really have to have the knowledge of French, though it is good to like, okay, practice, probably watch some YouTube videos about learning French. But I think what I've seen from uh, some PhD students in some of my French class is that some of the PhD students, they enrolled them, they join most of our French classes with us. So they take some French courses for like, let's say, let's say like um, two hours per week and they take it for like, let's say two months and that's all. So at least you'll be able to like understand the French language is not that difficult. So you can be able to like, when they speak, you can be able to understand a little bit of it. But I think majorly, English is required because most of publications will be writing your thesis. They will specifically be in English. So I don't think French language is like very, very um, important as well. Um, I think that will be all about PhD uh, proposals like PhD funding and also the, uh, thesis proposal in uh, Paris Saclay. So and I think this is this type of funding. It is like it is hidden in the website. So and people don't really know about this type of um, platform. So I, I think it is very useful to bring it to people's notice. So I think that would be all. I don't know if you have any question or probably any comment or probably any addition to this um, video. So I would really like that you should drop it in the comment section. So I think the next uh, of making um, some other videos about uh, potential funding in some French schools and as well in Europe and probably in US and Canada. So thank you so much for listening.